In our newscast tonight with the latest on the officer involved shooting involving the Delano Police Department. One woman was killed in that confrontation and an eight-year-old girl was injured and now the Kern County Sheriff's Office has taken over this investigation. 17's Christian Galeno joins us live from KCSO headquarters with what we've learned so far. Good evening Christian. Tammy, a very good evening to you. Well, KCSO is telling us tonight that this is standard procedure and that they often take over officer-involved shooting investigations for neighboring police departments. A tragedy like this, this is sad. Mm -hmm. This sad and we're going to keep this house in prayer and, and our Delano in prayer. Residents on Oxford Street woke up Saturday to the sound of gunshots. Neighbors telling 17 News that the two women living in this tiny corner house, including the 30-year-old woman who was shot, had just moved in less than a month ago. But shootings and problematic renters in that particular home were a constant thing. This house has been, I don't know what the world is, curse or what, because it was, uh, it's forever rent. It, they, they ran off and on. Delano PD said officers responded to a call of a verbal dispute. When they arrived to the home, they did not go inside, but instead watched through a window. That's when they saw the woman threatening the eight-year-old. Officers then shot the woman through the window, entered the home, performed CPR on the woman, but was later pronounced dead. The relationship between the girl and woman is still unknown. Because I come there trying to protect us, and I am not against him. And if he had to do it, he had to do it. Sadly, I'm sure he's hurting too. And uh, no, there's no way I'm going to judge him. The eight-year-old was injured and taken to a hospital. KCSO did not have information on her condition, but the woman's identity has not been released. Well, the lady didn't want to submit. I would have certainly surrendered right away. You know, and I know they wouldn't have hurt me, but uh, I'm sorry they hurt her, but that she asked for it. Our neighbors did share that those neighbors kept to themselves. They also believed that the woman that was shot and the mother of the eight-year-old were in some sort of relationship, but that has yet to be confirmed. For now, that's the latest from Sheriff Headquarters, Christian Galeno, 17 News.